Gears of War 4 is probably Microsoft's biggest exclusive coming out in Q4 2016, and as fitting, they've also released this very sexy red console for the Xbox One S. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing it, and I'm going to be giving you guys my general impressions, so hopefully you enjoy the video. You kept our armor. We don't stop these things. Everyone within a thousand miles dies. All right, so before we actually go through the unboxing and tear this baby apart, there's a couple things I need to talk about just for legal stuff. So this Xbox One S Gears of War Edition was not purchased by me. It was actually sent to me by the nice people at Microsoft for review purposes. So they said, do you want a beautiful red Xbox One? We'll send it to you for free and you can choose whether or not you want to do a video on it. And I said, yeah, absolutely I do. But just letting you guys know, I'm not getting paid any secondary fee to make this video. It's whether or not I want to do it or not. And yeah. And second thing also, if you guys want a breakdown of whether or not you should buy an Xbox One S, I have done a separate video where I go kind of in detail, pros and cons of the console and whether or not you should pick one up. So if you want the link to that video, you can find it in the description. But other than that, let's tear this box apart. All right, so here's the box in all its glory. So this is a two terabyte model. All Xbox One S's are two terabytes. You get the console, you get the red controller, you get this dent that was provided by the nice people at FedEx during shipment. And yeah, let's pop open this baby up and see what we can see on the inside. All right, we got a little tab here. Open it up. Comes with a user manual in red, which is nice. So you don't actually get the physical copy of the game with this, you actually get a code for the game that can be redeemed via the Xbox Live Store or the Windows Store. Once again, Gears of War 4, as well as all future Microsoft exclusive games, they are qualified for the Xbox Play Anywhere program. So you can play your game on the platform of your choice or on either Xbox One or Windows PC. Inside the game case as well, quote unquote game case, you'll find the vertical stand, which is in this maroon slash red color, is an HDMI cable which is, I have like a bajillion of these. I remember when these things actually cost a lot of money. <laughs> now they're like, you can buy them online for pennies. Then we have the controller, which I'll open separately in a second. And then right here we have the power cable. All right, finally we have packaged the actual console itself, which is surrounded by a very nice soft foam, which makes it extra secure. I'm a huge fan a soft foam because I watch a lot of unboxing videos and everyone tells me if it's a hard foam, if the foam breaks, the structural integrity is permanently lost. That's why you should always wrap your electronics with soft foam because if it breaks, it's still good. All right, my editor has said that she would like to see everything unboxed and unwrapped close up, so she wins. So here's the controller. We got a suffocating baby bag, so don't let your children play with this. So you get the controller right here. Comes with two high quality Duracell batteries, which you can maybe suffocate a Barbie doll with if you really want to, so yeah. And then underneath the soft foam, we have the actual console itself wrapped up break the seal. Be gentle with her. Yeah. Oh, so fail. I almost did it correctly. All right, so I've taken a little bit of extra time to kind of go underneath the microscope of each section, the console itself, the controller. But first thing I'm going to talk about the actual game itself. So I'm somewhat disappointed that you only get a digital copy of the game. I'm a guy who prefers to have physical copies. I know it's old school, I'm getting older, all you young whippersnappers, everything is digital these days. It's too difficult to push that button on front of the console and eject the disc and put it back into the disc tray. I know, it's, it's a hassle for some of you, but personally myself, like I said, I still am a guy who likes physical copies of games. I thoroughly enjoy opening a brand new game popping open that 
crisp disc tray, taking a sniff of what the game smells like. It's just, it's something that I still enjoy doing. So, but on the bright side, because this is a digital code, it actually makes giving away this a lot easier because I've actually have already been sent my review code from Microsoft to review Gears of War 4. So this is just something extra that I'm going to be giving away. I'm going to be giving it away over Twitter. So if you want a chance to win it, you can follow me at Tetra Ninja and I'll give away, uh, give it away shortly after launch. So yeah, hopefully one of you guys win it. All right, so moving on to the controller. So I'm just really impressed of like the details that they kind of chose when designing this thing. So first thing you'll notice is that there is some claw marks that match the console itself in the top right hand corner. And even the face buttons, they're really unique and they have this like grungy, rustic etching to them. The D-pad itself has like a fingerprint smudge built into it with a crosshair on the top left and right of the D-pad and just everything is covered with this like matte finish so it, it won't become like a fingerprint magnet for all you people like me out there who sweat a lot <laughs> who sweat through the palms a lot it won't get noticeably dirty that quickly and the gears logo is in the bottom left hand corner and just yeah topped off nicely with this blood splatter on the face that once again is matte and when we flip it around to the back it becomes two-toned so there's a darker maroon color in the middle and the battery cover actually has the Phoenix Family logo on it. So the Phoenix Family is kind of like center stage of the story of the game. So it's nice that they're included. And one thing to note as well, this is the upgraded controller part of the Xbox Design Lab. So the biggest thing is basically they kind of refine the joysticks and the trigger button. And as well, they've included Bluetooth capability of it. So you can connect it to a computer or an iOS device and not have to have like a separate dongle for it, which is always nice. That saves you like 30 bucks. But yeah, really impressed of the amount of detail that went into the design of this controller. All right, so finally, moving on to the actual console itself, which is absolutely gorgeous, but I might be biased because my favorite color is red. So this console is going to look beautifully right beside my limited edition Metal Gear Solid 5 PlayStation 4, the red version of it. That's, I'm really excited about that. It's just OCD in my head, having, having two con red consoles stand beside each other. But in terms of design, it has the red claw marks or the black claw marks in the top right hand corner. And it has the Gears logo kind of spray painted in the grill section of the exhaust fan where the heat is distributed. And moving on to the actual back underneath the console, it has the family logo of the Marcus Phoenix family. And once again, it's all topped off with this really nice red matte finish. So once again, it will not be a fingerprint magnet. It will have, it will resist grummy fingers like mine when you touch it, love it, caress it. The claw marks extend to the front panel of the console as well, just continuing that scraping look. And on the back I.O. you have the exact same I.O. as you find on a regular Xbox One S, which I have right here. All right, there you go. Two Xbox One S's standing beside each other. So once again, there is no difference between the two consoles in terms of their specs. It has the exact same hard drive. It has the exact same processor. It has the exact same interface, rear I.O., controller hardware. It's just down to the branding. So if you're a person who prefers a white console, go for the white version. If you're a Gears of War fan, this is a beautiful console. They've done an amazing job with the details right to the branding of the Gears logo spray painted to the claw marks. I know I'm a little bit biased because I'm a huge fan of red things, but it is really a very beautiful console. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new Xbox One and you don't plan to pick up the Xbox Scorpio when it releases next year, I definitely recommend this one right here. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for my unboxing of the Gears of War 4 Limited Edition Xbox One S. Once again, big thank you to Microsoft for sending it to me for free for review purposes and this video. And I will be doing a Let's Play walkthrough of the campaign mode for this game, which starts later this week and like literally a couple of days from now. So you can look forward to that. And once again, I will be giving away that code for the game over Twitter. So if you want to follow me at Tetra Ninja on Twitter, I'll be giving you guys the details a little bit later. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and as always, have a fast day.